Hi guys, Mr. Shy here with our week five, day three phonemic awareness activities. We're going to start in today with rhyming like we did yesterday. So I'm going to give you two words that are rhyming words. Remember that rhyming words have the same ending sounds um, to them. For example, if I was to say boot, scoot, both of those say oot at the end. So that would be a rhyming word because they have the same ending sound to them. All right, so here's our first two words. You think of a word that rhymes with it, and then I'll give you some examples of some that I can think of. So our first two words are shark, mark. Can you think of a word that would rhyme with shark, mark? It needs to say arc at the end. What about park, stark? Both of those say arc at the end. Good. Our next two words are cry, dry. Did you think of a word that has the I sound at the end? I thought of spy, lie, pry. I'll say I at the end. So those are rhyming words. What about match, scratch? Needs to say atch at the end. Match, scratch, patch, latch. All rhyme because they say atch at the end. Good. Here's our next two words. Book, shook. Book, shook. What about mm, look, crook? Those say Ook at the end. Good. Those are rhyming words. What about chance, glance? Can you think of a word that would have that ants sound at the end? Chance, glance, maybe um, prance, stance. I'll say ants at the end. Good. Here's two more words. Pink, drink. Pink, drink. What was some, a word that would say ink at the end? Pink, drink, maybe link, stink. I'll say ink at the end. Good. And then finally we have more, sure. Can you think of a word that would rhyme with those two? More, sure. What about poor, core? Store, those all say or at the end. Good. All right, for our next activity, we're going to blend the sounds together to make a word. So I'm going to say the individual sounds. You guys put them together into a word. So we have g, r, a, n, t, grant. Good. Th, r, o, n, throne. Th, l, i, t, flight. Er, uh, st, crest. Good. F, er, e, n, ch, French. G, er, e, s, Greece. B, o, e, ch, bleach. K, o, a, b, club. S, o, i, M e slimy sh a d o shadow good okay for our next activity we are listening for that middle vowel sound what vowel sound do we hear in the middle of these words froze o good slant a good spruce U, wreath, E, strange, A, blind, I, split, I, good. For our next act activity, we're going to be breaking that word down into sounds. So get your counting fingers out. I'm going to say a word. We're going to break it down into individual sounds to be a better reader and a better speller. 
Our first word is slipper. S -o -i -p -er. Slipper, good, five. Chili. Ch -i -o -i. Chili, four. Clasp. K -o -a -sp. Five. Bluff. B -o -a -f. Four. Cramp. Er, a, m, p, cramp, graze, g, er, a, z, four, player, p, o, a, er, player, it only has four, let's try that one again, p, o, a, er, four sounds, sink, f, a, n, k, four sounds, step, Four sound twist t w i s t five sounds good. Okay, now we get into our tricky new activities that we have been doing, where we are adding sounds to the middle of the word or deleting sounds from the middle of the word. So this is much more challenging than doing it at the beginning of the word or at the end of the word. We're having to listen to those middle sounds in the word and change them up. All right, so this first one is where we add a sound. So I'm going to say a word. I'm going to tell you to add a sound after that first sound that you hear and then put all of those sounds together to make a new word. So, for example, if I was to say the word said, add all. Um, okay. Let me try that again. If I said said and I said add all after s, so I would say s, all, ed, sled together. Good. Here's our next one. Gab, add er after g, g, er, ab, grab. Good. Here's our next one. C's, add n after s, s, n. Ease, sneeze, good. Here's our next one. Sip, add ul after s, s, ul, ip, slip. Cane, add er after k, k, er, ain, crane. Box, add ul after b, b, ul. Ox, blocks. Next we have sap, add n after s, s, n, app, snap. Good job. Okay, hopefully those are going to get a little easier as the week goes on. For this next one, we're going to take a sound out of the word and make a new word. So I'm going to say a word. I'm going to tell you to take a sound out after that initial sound, and then we're going to make a new word with it. So if I were to say the word break without the er, well, I would have b, ache, bake. Good. Here's my next one. Blend without the ul, b, end, bend. Good. Sway without the w, s, a, say. Um, stick without the t, s, ick, sick. Crash without the er, k, ash, cash. Spoil without the p, s, oil, soil. And then finally, blank without the ul, b, ank, bank. Good. So, on our final activity for today, we're going to do our substituting vowel sounds. So this is where we listen for the vowel sound in the word, and we change it out for a different vowel sound. We might be changing a short sound to a long sound or a long sound to a short sound. So my first word is seat, change E to E. So I'd have S, E, T, set. Ripe, change I to I. R, I, P, rip. Coat, change O to A. K, A, T, cot. 
Brad change a to a. Br a d braid. Kit change i to i. K i t kite. Met change e to e. M e t meet. Pain change a to a. P a n pan. Dune change u to a. Uh. D a uh, n done. Got change a uh, to o. G o t goat. Rid change i to i. R i d ride. Good job. And then for our phonics review, our last thing that we're doing today, we are going to look at vowel digraph e e, which makes the long e sound. Remember when um, we would cross one of these out, it would make the other one long. So these are vowel digraph e e. It's going to make the long e sound. So when we see it and read it in these words, it's going to say e. So let's read these together. We're going to sound them out. We have f, e, t, feet, b, e, t, beat, str, e, t, street, full, e, t, fleet, tr, e, tree. All right, good job today. I will see you back tomorrow for our very final phonemic awareness day for um, distance learning, and then we'll be done for the year. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye.